Hi, I'm Tom from the Self-Publishing Formula, and this video is an introduction to Vellum. Okay, so today I'll be going through the basics of using Vellum formatting software. Uh, of course, there are other formatting softwares available. There's Scrivener, uh, which you may already use for um, writing your novel in the first place, and you can use that to export into various different EPUB, uh, Mobi sort of ebook files. Um, well, there are free alternatives such as draft for digital and Readsy, uh, which are both very good. Uh, Vellum is arguably the most professional in terms of um, the output that you can create, but also, you know, you can create very good uh, looking books in any of the other ones I've mentioned. You can also create very good looking books by yourself, uh, especially when it comes to the print editions. Um, and unfortunately, the one downside for Vellum is that it is exclusive to Mac, which does uh, sort of, you know, cut PC users out of the picture unless they're willing to use some sort of a proxy. Uh, it's also fairly pricey in that it's about $199 for the ebook edition and up to $249 for the ebook and print edition. Of course, whilst that is very pricey, it does create a very professional looking product and it is a good investment if you are looking to turn this into a career. So to start Vellum, just go down to the icon here. It says Vellum, the little flower, click that. And if it's your first time opening the program, you'll probably get this square here. Um, as you can see, you can either import a Word file by pressing that button, or if you go up to File at the top and press New, you can start something from scratch, which is good if you don't already have a document, but ideally Vellum is used for just formatting. So whilst you can go through and type your entire book inside Vellum, it is really best to import an existing Word file. You still need to go through and make sure that all the chapters have been split correctly, uh, particularly with the front, mat front matter. It can get confused and put them all into one part. I'll open up one of my existing books just so that we have something we can actually look at. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's all my different uh, chapters have been put into separate ones here and all the text has been transposed straight into here. So if I want, I can type in hello straight there and it will appear, which is pretty useful. Um, so yes, if we go down here, we've got the contents and styles. Now contents, all of your information has been split into different things like copyright, dedication, also buys, chapter, uh, contents, all your different chapters, then your back matter, things like reviews, all that, views about the author, things like that. Um, so it's really clearly laid out, which is great. And if you want to add or change anything, you can just go up to chapter and either add a chapter, which is great. It will go into one of these parts here. Uh, it will automatically number, but you can turn that off if you want. Or you can go to add element where you can add blurbs, half titles, title pages, and most importantly, copyrights, dedication, uh, forewords, epilogues afterwards about the authors also buys basically anything that you could possibly want to put into a book whether ebook or print you can find in there which is pretty useful uh, next to contents and this is where a lot of people will be quite excited styles which is awesome because then you can change the appearance of your book entirely so i've been using oxford here but i could go with pseudo which gives a bit more of a sci-fi feel you've got kindred which is I guess a bit more of a classical look, a bit of a dramatic noir, in my opinion, there with uh, artisanal. And you can see the trace, Merid uh, Meridian. You've got a great one for non fiction there, Chroma. As you can see, there's basically something for everyone, which is pretty good. You've got headings, so even within that, you can then change the headings to be however you would like. So as you see, the preview here is of the first chapter, which is really useful for look to find out how it's actually going to look. So you've got that as a title, you've got that as a title, you've got that as a title. And then again, first paragraph, you can change whether you want the giant T there or if you want it just to have small caps along the top, things like that. It's really useful. Uh, paragraph to break. So again, there's a lot of customization that you can do and you can kind of mix and match how you want things to look with page numbers, for example. Uh, once you've you know, come up with everything and you know exactly what you want it all to look like, you see now it's changed there, you can preview it, which is this. So if I turn that tab off, it's just that, turn the tab on, 
and you can actually see what your book's going to look like. So you can see the changes that I've made to the style of the book, the change of title, for example, have been reflected in the preview. And you can go through and ch check every single page of your entire book, if you'd like. Uh, and it's not just in, you can see Kindle Fire there, it's not just in Kindle Fire, you've also got Paperwhite, so you can see what it looked like in more traditional Kindle form. Apple Books, Nook, Kobo, Android Tablet, and this is particularly great, Print, which you can have in different uh, page formats, uh, page sizes, by going to Print Settings and Trim Size, I'm going to change it to 5 to 8 rather than uh, 6 by 8 or you've got six by nine, you've got five and a quarter by eight, things like that, black and white color. You can have every chapter beginning on the right side, which is a popular thing with uh, books. Uh, and you can see, yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. So that's great. And then once you're done with all that, you can click generate. Now this, before you bought the product, uh, will just be purchase, because you can in fact download the whole of Vellum without paying a penny. And you can use all of this. Everything that I've shown you, you can go through and do without paying. It's just that you can't export it. So the only way to use it as an actual tool is to pay. Uh, once you have paid, you can just go up to Generate, click that. Uh, and you can, in fact, generate for Kindle, Apple, Nook, Kobo, Google, or a generic EPUB. And you can also create a print uh, version as well. And you can, as you can see, you can change the trim size there as well. Uh, if you click continue, you also get to choose uh, which folder it goes to, pretty standard save system. And then if you click generate, it'll create all the different files for you. And it literally takes 10 seconds if that. I won't do it right now because it will override everything that I've worked on. Um, so that is basically the uh, basic sort of guide to using Vellum. Uh, of course, you can go a bit further, but that should get you from importing your manuscript all the way to exporting. Um, best to experiment, see what works for you, look at other books that uh, you're a fan of to see how they've laid things out. Um, and yeah, just give it a go, really. Uh, your books will look fantastic, it's pretty much guaranteed. Okay, so that was our introduction to Vellum. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe by pressing the button below. Thank you.